Hi and welcome back to Down the Shed. So, been playing on my new computer quite a lot recently. Bloody Grand Theft Auto, money earning, grinding, grinding, grinding. So, here we have experiment number 14, the current amplifier. So, we'll connect the wires according to the wiring checklist as per normal. And then we'll press the switch. LED 1 in the collector path is brighter than LED 2 in the base path because the base current is amplified by the transistor. The current gain of a transistor varies anywhere from 10 to 1000 depending on the type of transistor. The ones in the electronic playground have a gain of about 200. Note that the battery voltage and circuit resistance will limit the current gain. For example, if we replaced the 1K ohm in the circuit with the 33k ohm and then the current gain will only be about three so we'll do that in a minute circuit resistance is not transistor it's sorry the circuit resistance is not transistor itself are limiting the current and the transistor is said to be saturated so i'll take a snapshot and put a picture of the schematic and wiring diagram right here right so <coughs> let's crack on and build this so we want 27 to 56 so that's switch to battery or battery positive to switch 52 to 55 so that's 100k ohm to the other side of the switch and 55 to 41 so that'll be the 1k ohm back to the switch making this three three way circuit 40 to 1 so that'll be the cathode or the negative of the LED to the 1k ohm two to 16 which will be the collector of the transistor to the positive or the anode of the LED 17 to 26 battery negative to uh, emitter I think it is of the transistor or semiconductor uh, 15 to 4 be the base of the transistor to the anode of the other LED and finally 3 to 51 so the I keep looking up because I've got it written up there I never remember it won't stay in the cathode of the second LED goes to a 51 which is the other side of the 100k ohm resistor so I'll just do it with the light on quickly so that we have a dim one and a bright one so let's bang the big light out and we'll press the button again so as you can see the red LED is immensely bright and the blue is dim so I'll put a bit of light coming on so I'll put a bit of light in there so we can alter the circuit. So, for example, we place the 1K with a 33K. So we'll place the 1K, we'll replace it with the 3.3 to start with and we'll work up. So that's that side of it. And just move the wires basically down one rung of the ladder. So we'll turn this light out again and press the switch. And now we'll go all the way 
We jumped past the 10k. We should have gone to the 10k really. We'll go to the 33 now because it would have been a more 1 to 3.3, not really a very big comparison. So it lights off. Press the switch. And they're both very dim now, as you can see. So we'll actually go with that 10k just for the argument of the video. Light off. As you can see it's a bit brighter on the red now. We'll go back to the one well actually we'll go down to the 470, see what happens. Sorry, not 470, the 47 ohm. The 470 ohm, not 47. So this is a 470 ohm. We started with the 1K, so this red one should be immensely bright now. There we go. So that's basic. Let's turn the big light on. Lights. There we go. It's not the mains one, that's my battery one. So that's the current amplifier. So it's basically the, the red LED is being amplified. So that's experiment 14. Experiment 15 is called the substitute. I might record that one now and either host it today or possibly tomorrow. So um, more of these experiments to come. I might do a review on my laptop soon. So yeah, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more exciting electronic pre that playground experiments. I'm going to leave all the bloops in this one. I can't be asked to edit it. Um, and there will be some more soldering stuff coming soon. I've got a few kits down here that need uh, need sorting out. Um, the lorry driving's going well. I've not read any more of my book recently. But uh, theory test was 95%, 85% pass rate. And my hazard perception, 19 videos, 5 points a video, one of them a dual hazard, 100 points, 67 uh, pass mark, and I got 89. So absolutely flipping over the moon with the hazard perception, because that was the one that I was worried about. So waiting for the driving lessons to start, and then uh, down the shed will be pretty much down the HGV, or driving a HGV. But yeah, that's a lifelong desire. That's suddenly become a reality. Thank you, lorry driver shortage. Um, I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe.